Well, since uh, we're not going anywhere right now, uh, we made this nice little setup in the backyard and we're going to do some campfire cooking. So stay tuned. Okay, uh, since uh, most of us are uh, staying at home right now and not traveling, uh, we wanted to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, we're going to do some campfire cooking and uh, we're going to make some apple pies. Uh, what we have are these sandwich makers that um, I believe we got at Bass Pro Shop or something like that. and. Uh, these are really really handy they're better than just for sandwiches i mean you can make a really mean uh grilled cheese in these things yes you can. over a campfire we've done that many times but uh this time we're going to get a little bit creative and do an apple pie with cinnamon rolls we got some cinnamon rolls and some fried apples that we're going to put in it and uh then we're going to cook it over the fire which we've got going on right over there Today we just happen to be in our own backyard. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's got these uh, little cinnamon rolls um, all in nice little curly uh, curl shapes. Forget that. Uh, <laughs> just mash them up as, and, and knead them together. And it'll probably take, being that this is um, as big as it is, it'll probably take um, two on each side to make and you just spread it all the way out in the sandwich maker. This is the size of just your basic loaf of bread or sliced bread, yeah. sandwich bread. <laughs> okay, and you grab a couple more on this side, smash it up, smash it. <laughs> one in on the other side. This might work well. Mm -hmm. It'll all spread out once it starts getting baked. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're gonna. Sounds like somebody's doing donuts behind the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. And you can also just buy the classic regular old apple pie filling. Yeah, which is We've probably done. what we should have done. But we'll let you know how it turns out. I'm just going to smash it on top of it like that. Tip this one over top of it and take it over to the fire. Okay. Oh, that smells. <laughs> thing about um, the, smoke, the wind just decided to change directions but the uh, thing about doing in the city limits you have to have a grate over your fire pit uh, for safety reasons but that doesn't affect uh, how effectively these things are and it also leaves you a little nice little resting spot to put the uh, sandwich maker on and uh, you just hover it over the fire real good. Make sure that it's level and even, and you'll flip it every so often. It, it's gonna take a while. It's definitely gonna take a while to, to bake the cinnamon roll all the way through. So you don't wanna be eating the pile of dough. I mean, you can check it every so often. It's already starting to expand, you can see. Oh, look at mine. Oh, the smoke is going right on me now. <laughs> Trying to dodge the smoke. There you go. Now the wind's blowing back <laughs> that way. Okay. 
but yeah, after just a little while, this is a nice little tasty dessert. There's lots of different things that you can use these to make pancakes. You can make pancakes in these. Um, Which we have not tried that yet. We're probably going to try that tomorrow. Um, then there's, uh, of course, any kind of a sandwich. Uh, grilled cheese, hot ham and cheese. Come on, win. Stay in one direction. Omelets. These things make great omelets, too. We haven't done that either. So we got some. I have done that. You have done that? I have done that. But, uh, that was a long time ago. But these uh, make great omelets. You can uh, make omelets in these things. Uh, these sandwiches. You can put uh, some ground beef in there and make some really good burgers right over the campfire. We hope everybody out there is handling their quarantine time well. We just thought this would be a fun thing to share in our downtime. Yeah, we're hoping to get back on the road again. We had planned on going to Kerr Lake and uh, right on the border of Virginia and North Carolina and all the state parks got closed. So that didn't work out very well so and we were going to go to indiana for the mock trial competition also canceled that got canceled so. yeah oh now look at that and that look good nice and tasty so y'all know i wish you had smell vision yeah, this does smell really good. Now, the, this comes with the uh, icing, mm -hmm. too. So, uh, we're going to put the icing on our... Just for fun. And the thing is, is that, you know, there's uh, eight in a pack, and we used all eight of them <laughs> so, to do this. So, we get all the icing. <laughs> like a big toaster strudel. <laughs> is it? It's like a big toaster strudel. All right. Well, let's try it. We're gonna. Here's you a fork, and I'm sorry I'm out of the frame. But... <laughs> All right, we're about to dig in here. I'm gonna let her try it first. That way, if it's <laughs> horrible, I'll know. Ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. It is, huh? Very good. <laughs> yeah. So this is a nice little dessert that you can do while you're camping. Or, or breakfast. Or, or while you're in quarantine. So <laughs> <laughs> Either way, this is uh, one of our first of a series that we're going to do about campfire cooking. So... Stay we're tuned gonna, to know next time. We're going to learn as you learn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to learn how to do a lot more uh, things on, uh, over the campfire. Happy camping, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is really good. It is really good. We need to come up with something different besides saying happy camping because nobody's camping right now. I know. Happy quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you a little story about these uh, sandwich makers. These can be a lifesaver in a power outage. They are. Uh, there, were, there was one time that the whole city was completely in a blackout because of an ice storm. For two days. Yeah, well, no more than that. It was like three days. And, you know, the only heat we had in the house was the fireplace. And we were all sleeping in the living room. Uh, cuddling around the fireplace and we got very primitive and uh, pulled these out and this is how we did our cooking while we were in the power outage we made grilled cheese sandwiches we kind of got sick of grilled cheese sandwiches after a while we didn't have a camper at that time we didn't have a camper at that time but uh, <laughs> otherwise we would have just hopped in and gone somewhere else but these uh, really uh, saved us and uh, the kids 
cooked hot dogs and we cooked grilled cheeses right there in the fireplace. So uh, if you get a chance to go get some of these, uh, then uh, definitely try them out. They're at Gander Mountain and uh, Bass Pro. Bass Pro, yeah. Uh, both places. We've seen them in both places. And they've got the new copper kind now. And we have two of those that we use in the house. Amazing. Yeah. They really are great. Yeah, you know, they work really good. We do our sandwiches on that too. But <laughs> this is really great. And see you next time. A little backyard camping. Like, yeah, we probably will.